Hey guys, uh, I've had this 2015 Leaf for just about a month now. It's been a fantastic used car, cheap to buy, cheap to run. I've made some small enhancements here and there, but one thing I want to take care of are the headlights. Let me show you what I mean. So as you can see here, especially on this side, there's a lot of yellowing and oxidation, and it's just not as clear as it used to be. And I'm thinking this is all just on the surface here because I can feel it. So I'm going to try and use this inexpensive uh, ceramic Cerakote ceramic headlight restoration kit. It has everything you need in the box, uh, no tools required, which is perfect. I don't have any tools. Let's see if we can bring these back to life. So it is actually a really large headlight for the size of car. I've uh, kind of pre-rinsed this ahead of time just to clean it up as much as I can, but they recommend masking off the headlight so you don't damage the paint when you're uh, sanding it down. All right, cool. I think I did a good enough job masking these headlights. And in the box, the first step is actually these uh, oxidation removing wipes. Um, there's eight in the box, so you have basically four wipes per headlight. So you're supposed to take a few passes and remove some of that yellowing from the top. Let's see how that works. And in the box, you get two pairs of gloves because I imagine you don't want these chemicals touching your skin. Oh, wow. I can already tell that it is removing some of that surface yellowing. That's amazing. I've just gone ahead and done four wipes per side and you can see even my last wipe, the fourth wipe on each side was yellow. So there was a lot of oxidation on these lights. I've partially closed my garage door because I don't know if this should be exposed to the sun. But also I think you do want some ventilation because there is a heavy chemical smell. Uh, let's move on to the next step. So step number two involves uh, sanding the headlights. So in the, in the box, we have this applicator pad and we have two discs of 2000 grit and then 3000 grit sandpaper. So we're gonna spray this with a spray bottle to keep it wet and lubricated. And we're gonna take uh, straight line motions across the headlight to basically uh, remove the top layer, make them super smooth. is the 2000. We basically want to level this out and make it very smooth. 2000 done. Now we're going to hit it again with 3000 grit. You could see the headlights are forming a kind of a cloudy appearance right now. That's to be expected. It is starting to feel really smooth. So now that sanding is complete, we can remove the masking tape and we have to give the headlights a nice, uh, nice good rinse outside and wait for them to dry until we could do the last step. Now finally give it a good rinse because we don't want any plastic shavings on the lights when we apply the last step. I kept the car outside for the water to dry because for step number three, this has to be entirely dry. You could see these uh, lenses here have this hazy, cloudy appearance to them. I think that's supposed to be normal. And I have my second pair of gloves on, clean gloves. Um, it says here to be in a ventilated area, so I'm in the shade in the garage, but I'm in an open garage because this looks like it's some heavy chemicals. Oh yeah, that's got a really strong smell to it. So with this, you're supposed to just go in straight lines and take uh, just a single pass over every uh, square inch of the headlight. This is the ceramic finish that is supposed to clear everything up from before. They said you could do a, a little bit of overlap with every pass. So we're done with both sides with the ceramic coat layer. And wow, so far this is looking really sharp. I'm gonna let, let it sit and cure overnight and show you the final results tomorrow in daylight. But this is looking really good. It's the next day and here are the final results. So much more smooth I got rid of the yellowing and the hazing. And I think this was a really good result. It's not quite perfect. Uh, there's still some micro cracks in the lens, but that's not going to come out with a kit. But for a DIY uh, solution, this has been really impressive. I still have some sanding residue, and I think maybe I would have had better results if I sanded it longer. I went about a minute per disc per side, but if I had sanded for longer, maybe 
this would have been even clearer. But honestly, um, I think if I can do this, anyone can do this. And um, I think I can recommend this product. I'll leave a link in the description. They also promise these results to last for the, the remaining life of the vehicle, which is, I don't know, I'm skeptical. Um, I'll leave a pinned comment in the down below if, if these results start to fade over time. But so far, this has been really cool. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.